Welcome friends, welcome back to the Microsoft Azure AZ-900 certification exam questions and answers. Listen to this video carefully so that it will help you during the exam. Here we will see all the questions with the real-time use case and we will decode the answer for the certificate exam. So the first question is, which of the following is a feature of Azure Blob Storage? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, optimized for storing unstructured data. Option B, provides SQL-based query capabilities. Option C, supports relational database management. Option D, manages user identities. Let's see the answer. And right answer is, option A optimized for storing unstructured data. Azure Blob Storage is optimized for storing large amounts of unstructured data such as text or binary data. Let's move to the second question. What is the main use of Azure Event Grid? Let's see the option and the options are, option A, to manage virtual machines. Option B, to store and manage files. Option C, to analyze big data. Option D, to build event-based applications with a publish subscribe model. Let's see the answer. And right answer is, option D, to build event-based applications with a publish subscribe model. Azure Event Grid allows you to build event-based applications with a publish subscribe model, enabling event-driven architectures. Let's move to the third question. Which Azure service helps you automate and manage cloud resources using configuration files? Let's see the option and the option are option A, Azure Functions, option B, Azure SQL Database, option C, Azure Cosmos DB, option D, Azure Resource Manager Templates. Let's see the answer. And right answer is option D, Azure Resource Manager Templates. Azure Resource Manager Templates, ARM Templates, allow you to define the infrastructure and configuration for Azure resources in a JSON file. Let's move to the fourth question. What is the function of Azure Backup? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, to manage virtual machines. Option B, to provide data backup and recovery solutions. Option C, to create web applications. Option D, to deploy machine learning models. Let's see the answer. And right answer is, option B, to provide data backup and recovery solutions. Azure Backup offers backup and recovery services for data protection, ensuring your data is securely backed up and recoverable. Let's move to the fifth question. What is Azure Sentinel? Let's see the option and the options are, option A, a cloud native CM, security information, and event management solution. Option B, a database management service. Option C, a virtual machine service. Option D, a content delivery network. Let's see the answer. And right answer is, option A, a cloud native CM, security information and event management solution. Azure Sentinel is a cloud native CM solution that provides intelligent security analytics and threat intelligence across the enterprise. Let's move to the sixth question. What does the term fault domain refer to in Azure? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, a data storage location. Option B, a network security rule. Option C, a group of VMs that share common hardware. Option D, a region-specific compliance requirement. Let's see the answer. And right answer is, option C, a group of VMs that share common hardware. A fault domain is a group of VMs that share common hardware and are susceptible to the same hardware failures. Let's move to the seven question, which Azure service allows you to build, deploy, and scale web apps and APIs? Let's see the option and the options are, option A, Azure App Service. Option B, Azure Storage. Option C, Azure Kubernetes Service. Option D, Azure Data Factory. Let's see the answer. And right answer is, Option A, Azure App Service. Azure App Service is a platform as a service, PaaS, offering that enables you to build, deploy, and scale web apps and APIs. Let's move to the eight question. What is the purpose of Azure Virtual WAN? Let's see the option and the options are, Option A, to provide a unified wide area networking service. Option B, to manage virtual machines. Option C, to deploy machine learning models. Option D, to store large amounts of unstructured data. Let's see the answer. And right answer is, option A, to provide a unified wide area networking service. Azure Virtual WAN provides a unified and optimized way to manage your wide area network across Azure regions and on-premises locations. Let's move to the nine question. Which Azure service provides distributed, scalable data storage for big data analytics? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, 
Azure SQL Database. Option B, Azure Data Lake Storage. Option C, Azure Logic Apps. Option D, Azure Key Vault. Let's see the answer. And right answer is, Option B, Azure Data Lake Storage. Azure Data Lake Storage is a scalable data storage service designed for big data analytics, supporting high throughput and low latency. Let's move to the 10 question. What is Azure DevOps used for? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, to plan, develop, test, and deploy applications. Option B, to manage storage accounts. Option C, to create virtual networks. Option D, to deploy machine learning models. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option A, to plan, develop, test, and deploy applications. Azure DevOps provides a suite of development tools and services for planning, developing, testing, and deploying applications. Let's move to the 11 question. Which of the following Azure services is used for serverless event-driven compute? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, Azure Functions. Option B, Azure SQL Database. Option C, Azure Virtual Machines. Option D, Azure Storage. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option A, Azure Functions. Azure Functions provide serverless event-driven compute, allowing you to run code in response to events without managing infrastructure. Let's move to the Tolave question. What is the primary purpose of Azure ODB2C? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, to monitor application performance. Option B, to store and manage unstructured data. Option C, to deploy virtual machines. Option D, to manage customer identities and access for B2C applications. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option D, to manage customer identities and access for B2C applications. Azure AD B2C is used to manage customer identities and access for business to consumer B2C applications. Let's move to the 13 question. What does Azure Resource Manager, ARM, enable you to do? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, store large amounts of data. Option B, monitor application performance. Option C, create machine learning models. Option D, manage your infrastructure through declarative templates. Let's see the answer. And right answer is, option D, manage your infrastructure through declarative templates. Azure Resource Manager, ARM, enables you to manage your infrastructure using declarative templates, simplifying deployment and management. Let's move to the 14 question. Which Azure service would you use for data warehousing and big data analytics? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, Azure Synapse Analytics. Option B, Azure Cosmos DB. Option C, Azure Logic Apps. Option D, Azure App Service. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option A, Azure Synapse Analytics. Azure Synapse Analytics is a limitless analytics service that brings together enterprise data warehousing and big data analytics. Let's move to the 15 question. What is the main benefit of using Azure Auto Scaling? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, manages user identities. Option B, provides high storage capacity. Option C, ensures data encryption. Option D, automatically adjusts the number of running instances based on demand. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option D automatically adjusts the number of running instances based on demand. Azure Auto Scaling automatically adjusts the number of running instances of a service or application based on demand, ensuring optimal performance and cost efficiency. Let's move to the 16 question. Which Azure service provides a platform for building, deploying, and scaling containerized applications using Docker and Kubernetes? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Azure Kubernetes Service, AKS. Option B, Azure Functions. Option C, Azure Virtual Machines. Option D, Azure App Service. Let's see the answer. And right answer is, Option A, Azure Kubernetes Service, AKS. Azure Kubernetes Service, AKS, provides a managed Kubernetes service for building, deploying, and scaling containerized applications using Docker and Kubernetes. Let's move to the 17 question. What is the purpose of Azure Blueprints? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, to create virtual machines. Option B, to define a repeatable set of Azure resources that adhere to organization standards. Option C, to monitor application performance. Option D, to manage user identities. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option B to define a repeatable set of Azure resources that adhere to organization standards. Azure Blueprints help you define a repeatable set of Azure resources that adhere to your organization standards, enabling governance and compliance. Let's move to the 18 question. 
Which Azure service is used to deliver messages between applications and services reliably? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, Azure Service Bus. Option B, Azure App Service. Option C, Azure Data Lake. Option D, Azure Functions. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option A, Azure Service Bus. Azure Service Bus is a reliable messaging service that facilitates communication between applications and services. Let's move to the 19 question. What does the Azure Application Gateway do? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Deploys machine learning models. Option B. Stores large amounts of unstructured data. Option C. Manages user identities. Option D. Provides application-level routing and load balancing. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option D provides application-level routing and load balancing. Azure Application Gateway provides application-level routing and load balancing, enabling you to manage traffic to your web applications. Let's move to the 20 question. What is the purpose of Azure SQL Database? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. To provide a managed relational database service. Option B. To manage virtual machines. Option C. To create virtual networks. Option D. To store unstructured data. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option A to provide a managed relational database service. Azure SQL Database is a managed relational database service that offers high availability, scalability, and security. Let's move to the 21 question. Which Azure service can help you protect your applications and data from DDoS attacks? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Azure Security Center. Option B. Azure DDoS Protection. Option C. Azure Monitor. Option D. Azure Policy. Let's see the answer. And right answer is, option B Azure DDoS Protection. Azure DDoS Protection helps safeguard your applications and data from distributed denial of service, DDoS, attacks by providing enhanced protection measures. Let's move to the 22 question. What is the main benefit of using Azure Logic Apps? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Managing virtual machines. Option B. Deploying web applications. Option C. Monitoring application performance. Option D. Automating workflows and integrating systems without writing code. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option D. Automating workflows and integrating systems without writing code. Azure Logic Apps allow you to automate workflows and integrate systems without writing extensive code. Simplifying process automation. Let's move to the 23 question. Which Azure service provides a fully managed NoSQL database with low latency and global distribution? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Azure SQL Database. Option B. Azure Data Lake. Option C. Azure Cosmos DB. Option D. Azure Blob Storage. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option C. Azure Cosmos DB. Azure Cosmos DB is a fully managed NoSQL database service offering low latency and global distribution for high-performance applications. Let's move to the 24 question. What does the term scalability refer to in cloud computing? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, the ability to increase or decrease resources as needed. Option B, the ability to encrypt data. Option C, the ability to create virtual networks. Option D, the ability to deploy web applications. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option A, the ability to increase or decrease resources as needed. Scalability refers to the capability to increase or decrease IT resources as needed to meet changing demand. Let's move to the 25 question. Which Azure service provides a central place to manage all of your Azure resources? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, Azure Resource Manager. Option B, Azure Active Directory. Option C, Azure Functions. Option D, Azure Blob Storage. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option A, Azure Resource Manager. Azure Resource Manager provides a management layer that enables you to create, update, and delete resources in your Azure account. Let's move to the 26 question. What is the primary use case for Azure Event Hubs? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Real-time data ingestion and processing. Option B. Managing virtual machines. Option C. Storing large amounts of unstructured data. Option D. Creating virtual networks. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option A. Real-time data ingestion and processing. Azure Event Hubs is designed for real-time data ingestion and processing enabling event streaming and big data analytics. Let's move to the 27 question. Which Azure service provides a platform for building IoT, Internet of Things, solutions? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, 
Azure IoT Hub. Option B, Azure SQL Database. Option C, Azure Logic Apps. Option D, Azure Functions. Let's see the answer. And right answer is, Option A, Azure IoT Hub. Azure IoT Hub is a platform that enables you to build, manage, and scale IoT solutions, connecting and monitoring IoT devices. Let's move to the 28 question. What does the term elasticity mean in the context of cloud computing? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, the ability to encrypt data. Option B, the ability to create virtual networks. Option C, the ability to deploy web applications. Option D, the ability to automatically adjust resources based on demand. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option D, the ability to automatically adjust resources based on demand. Elasticity in cloud computing refers to the ability to automatically adjust resources to match current demand, providing flexibility and cost efficiency. Let's move to the 29 question. Which Azure service is used for automating the deployment and management of containerized applications? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Azure Functions. Option B. Azure Kubernetes Service, AKS. Option C. Azure Virtual Machines. Option D. Azure Data Factory. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option B. Azure Kubernetes Service, AKS. Azure Kubernetes Service, AKS, automates the deployment, management, and scaling of containerized applications using Kubernetes. Let's move to the 30 question. What is the primary purpose of Azure Cognitive Services? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. To add AI capabilities to applications using pre-built APIs. Option B. To manage user identities. Option C. To create virtual networks. Option D. To store unstructured data. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option A. To add AI capabilities to applications using pre-built APIs. Azure Cognitive Services provide pre-built APIs that enable developers to add AI capabilities such as vision, speech, language, and decision-making to their applications. Let's move to the 31 question. Which Azure service can you use to schedule and run background tasks? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Azure Functions. Option B. Azure Batch. Option C. Azure Virtual Machines. Option D. Azure SQL Database. Let's see the answer. And right answer is, option B Azure Batch. Azure Batch enables you to schedule and run large-scale parallel and high-performance computing, HPC, applications efficiently in the cloud. Let's move to the 32 question. What is the main purpose of Azure Traffic Manager? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A, to distribute user traffic across multiple endpoints. Option B, to store large amounts of data. Option C, to manage virtual machines. Option D, to create virtual networks. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option A to distribute user traffic across multiple endpoints. Azure Traffic Manager distributes user traffic across multiple endpoints to improve the availability and responsiveness of your applications. Let's move to the 33 question. Which Azure service provides a managed platform for running containerized applications? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Azure Functions. Option B. Azure SQL Database. Option C. Azure Blob Storage. Option D. Azure Container Instances, ACI. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option D. Azure Container Instances, ACI. Azure Container Instances, ACI, provide a managed platform for running containerized applications without requiring orchestration. Let's move to the 34 question. What does the term hybrid cloud refer to? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. A combination of public and private cloud environments. Option B. A method for encrypting data. Option C. A platform for developing applications. Option D. A type of virtual machine. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option A. A combination of public and private cloud environments. A hybrid cloud combines public and private cloud environments, allowing data and applications to be shared between them for greater flexibility and deployment options. Let's move to the 35 question. Which Azure service is used for monitoring the performance and availability of applications? Let's see the option and the options are. Option A. Azure Application Insights. Option B. Azure Active Directory. Option C. Azure Storage. Option D. Azure Logic Apps. Let's see the answer. And right answer is. Option A. Azure Application Insights. Azure Application Insights is an application performance management, APM, service that provides insights into the performance and availability of your applications. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below. 
I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.